Well, the um, interest from health departments or the government on the project that I'm doing, um, which really stemmed out from the, um, like we had a, a group in an area in Brisbane, so it was a region where we looked at what does it take to make a person proactive. Now, at the beginning, I didn't know that that was going to come out of the data. All right, so it was just grounded research. I was fishing. And we took 30 people on a journey and they all had a chronic disease. Some of them had two or three chronic diseases and none of them could see the possibility. Okay, so we just gave them the space. It was a methodology. We did do measuring. We did capture the value, but we just looked to see what they did. And we gave them some skills in order to be able to take the reins. Not, not um, scientific skills or understanding their condition from a doctor's perspective, but just their journey and what it was going to take. And what came out of the research, we could see that most of them became proactive. Suddenly they came from a state where you'd say they were cold. It's like, what's the point? We weren't even fiery anymore. It was just like, nothing works. What's the point in even trying? And in any case, I don't even have the bandwidth. All right, I'm working full time. I've got a family. I, I can't even think about my own health. I have to put them first. So what we found was the, some key things that came up in the research about what it takes to, for a person to become proactive in their own journey. And I think that, that was one of, that's one of the key things because what, what's understood, particularly when the government or the health departments are looking at participatory medicine, they're saying, you patients, you need to come on board with your treatment. And the patients are saying, well, excuse me, you need to come on board with me. So nobody's getting on board. So participatory medicine means hearing both, but from the same hymn sheet. You've got to be singing from the same hymn sheet. So what, what we found was with the model, it created this environment where they could talk and that eased it. It started the flow. It also created an environment where the person could talk within their own family, within their own work situation, because they had clarity. They su suddenly had insight into what they needed and they didn't feel it was unreasonable. So they got others on board and it was just watching how people are at the center of their own journey and how they can make change happen without creating conflict, without creating more friction. I think that was the fear that people had, is if I try, it's only going to get worse. It's only going to create more friction. My family is not going to go with this. My workplace isn't going to go with this. And we had two people on the course who worked in the same environment and what they did was they created big things that they hung on their chairs and it was from the zoo it was like do not feed the animals or please do not feed and it was a wonderful humorous and everybody got into it they were all supporting them and encouraging them on their journey so they didn't bring the buns around at tuck time you know, they respected those or they didn't leave the jar of sweeties out or they changed the patterns of um, reward in the office. It was wonderful, wonderful, made it happen.